I am Padmini from CRR Women's College working as a lecturer in Computer Science Department. Today I am here to introduce one of the paper in 5th semester of BSc Computer Science uh, that is Software Engineering. So, let us start with the definitions like Software Engineering and Software Engineering. Software is a set of instructions, data or programs used to operate computers and execute specific tasks. It is used to refer to applications and programs that run on a device. For example, if you want to develop a software project in a particular language called C, then it is going to run that application by the user only when the installation of that particular software is done. And what is engineering? Engineering is all about developing the product by several persons in different phases using some principles and methods. So, why the entire project can be divided into number of phases? It is highly impossible that a single person cannot develop the entire project within a single day. That's the reason of dividing the project into number of persons. And software engineering is a branch associated with development of the software product using principles and methods. The outcome of software engineering is an efficient and reliable software product within a scheduled period of time and in budgeted cost and coming to the topic software development life cycle it is also called as phase development life cycle because the life cycle involves number of phases that are used to develop the software product in an effective way so it is nothing but a process used by the software industry to develop, design and test high quality software product. This aims is to produce high quality so software that meets the customer expectations and reaches completion of that uh, entire project within times and cost estimates which are given by the customer to the developer. This is a framework defining number of tasks performed at each step in developing the software. So finally, the organization is going to start the development of the product in different phases starting from develop, maintenance, replace and uh, enhance specific software to the customer. This life cycle involves mainly six phases requirement, analysis, design, coding, testing and deployment. So coming to the first phase that is nothing but requirement phase. Requirements means what are the materials that are needed to develop the product is first collecting the those requirements from the customer 
and in the same phase analyst is going to analyze the requirements which are collected from the customer and note down all the requirements in a specific document that is named as business requirement specification so the outcome of this phase is the quality product and the next phase is analysis phase once the requirements are gathered from the require uh, customer and analysis is done the next step is to define and document the product requirements and get them approved by the customer this is done through one document called srs software requirement specification it consists of all the product requirements to be designed and developed during the project life cycle the people who involved in this phase are more important those are nothing but project manager business analyst and senior members of the team the outcome of this phase is uh, software requirement specification document and this document can be given to the next person who performs the next phase that is nothing but design phase it has two steps high level design and low level design high level design gives the external structure of the product and low level design gives the internal structure of the product and describes how each and every feature in the product should work the outcome from this phase is one is high level document and uh, second one is low level document which works as a input to the next phase development phase developers are going to develop the product after designing phase so in this phase the developers are going to start writing the code for the product and the next phase is testing phase after developing the product the product will going to test by the testers thoroughly for different defects manually or using some testing tools so if the testing is successful means error free software then it is going to deliver the product to the customer and the last phase is deployment and maintenance phase after successful testing the product is going to deployed by the engineers and not by the customers once the deployment is finished then the customer is going to use that particular software product and at that time the customers may or may not facing any problems if the customer faces some problems during the use uses of the product and that problems will be rectified by the developer within a shortest period of time otherwise that product will never satisfies the customer and now i am going to take one general example explaining all these phases to you okay if you want to develop one product general product like this pen so before going to develop this actual product the developer 
first collects the requirements from the customer means what type of uh, pen do you want to develop and after collecting the requirement from the customer the analyst will going to analyze that particular requirements in and uh, note down those the, those requirements in a particular document that is nothing but business requirement specification document so after that phase the developer is going to now analyze the product specification requirements so and those requirements will note down in this particular document called software requirement specification and after analysis phase the product will going to be designed by designers high level design and low level design high level design means the external structure of the product the low level design gives the internal uh, description of the project and in this phase also they maintain one document and it is given as a input to the next person who performs the next phase that is nothing but development phase so in this phase the developers going to develop the actual product and it is shown to the customer if it is satisfied by the customer then it move on to the testing phase the testers will going to test this product in various levels either manually or using some testing tools and finally if the testing process is successful then it is delivered to the customer if the customer is going to face any problems during the uh, uses of this product then that problems will be rectified by the developer within a shortest period of time and not taking so much of time to uh, rectify this problem if it takes so much of time then it will never satisfies the customer okay thank you